Today, you will not only encounter the same door, but walk through this door and the needed miracles. Welcome to today's DDRX. We're still planting the heavens. Isaiah 51, 16 says, And I've put my words in your mouth. I've covered you with the shadow of my hand, that I may plant the heavens, lay the foundations of the earth, and say to Zion, You are my people. We need to prophesy. We need to decree. We need to clear the way. Break snares and traps. Remove demonic manifestations. No time to deal with temporary setbacks, even in this time. So we want to decree doors to be open. There is a door that overrides stagnation, failures, disappointment, and challenges of life. Peter encountered this door after toiling all night and failing in Luke 5 verse 5. In Exodus 3, Moses encountered this door after fleeing from Egypt in the burning bush. Joseph encountered it after the butler remembered him for interpreting his dream in Genesis 40. Today, you will not only encounter the same door, but walk through this door and the needed miracles. Events and turn around you require shall be made possible in the mighty name of Jesus. So there is a divine door that when God opens it, it ensures the immediate fulfillment of a person's divine mandate, irrespective of bondages, satanic manipulation and oppression, setbacks and delay, or any challenges. So I want us to decree together. Today, the most and the only one of Israel we open such a door for me and my household. All visible and invisible, all blockage, challenges, forces, satanic manipulations and monitors, destiny and glory changing powers, and whatsoever is affecting the full potential of my manifestation, according to God's divine mandate, are hereby terminated and is destroyed. This door will propel and make me recover all that I've lost in years and opportunities up to sevenfold. Any door meant to be a passageway for calamity, stress, stagnancy, desperation, and loss of focus shall be locked immediately. No longer shall any door or doors not approve of God open unto me and my household. Only doors that will glorify and magnify God shall be opened in, in my life, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father.